everyone welcome back to my class this is Rumana Ali I hope you all are doing well in today's class I'm gonna start a lesson playing with magnets so in this lesson we are going to discuss about the magnets non-magnetic substances the pole of a magnet and even about the magnetic induction so first let us discuss about the magnetic properties of the different substances so to know so to know whether the materials are magnetic or non magnetic let us do an activity in this activity we are going to take one pin holder now by taking this pin holder we are going to drop some of the substances in this pin holder we will drop a pin iron nail and we'll also put some pieces of paper and a piece of chalk paper clip rubber so here we are using some of the materials like pin iron nail pieces of paper chalk piece paper clip and rubber now when we drop pin it is going to attach at the top of the pin holder iron nail also attaches to the top of the pin holder but piece of paper chalk piece do not attach to the top of the paper they are going to fall down into the pin holder in this way the paper clip it is going to attach to the top and the rubber is a material that falls down into the pin holder okay so here there are two types of substances or two types of material so by this activity we can recognize which materials which substances are showing the magnetic property and which substances are not showing the magnetic property so the substances that are going to attach to the top of the pin holder they are called as magnetic substances because the top of the pin holder attracts this pin iron nail and even this paper clip so it is having some magnetic property at the top of the pin holder it is showing some magnetic property so that it attracts these substances and the substances which are going to be attracted to the top of the pin holder they are called as magnetic substances and the substances which are not attracted by the magnet they are called as non-magnetic substances so here this is a group of substances out of these substances pin iron nail and paper clip are the magnetic substances as they are attracts to the top of the pin holder and the paper chalk piece and the rubber are the materials that are called as non-magnetic substances which do not attach to the top of the pin holder in this way there are certain substances that can attract towards the magnet and there are certain other materials that do not attract towards the magnet and the magnets they are made up of iron copper aluminium steel nickel cobalt so here is the list of certain substances like iron steel copper aluminium nickel cobalt the alloys of all these materials can act as a magnet we can make a powerful magnet by using the alloys of all these substances so in this way these are the substances that can act as a magnet and magnets have the property to attract different objects let us discuss about the shapes of the magnet so magnets they are present in the different shapes different shapes of the magnets are given here they are bar magnet horseshoe magnet disc magnet and ring magnet all these magnets possesses two sides or two poles that are north pole and south pole and here the bar magnet it is of rectangular shape horseshoe magnet is showing some curved shape and disc magnet is of disc shaped and ring magnet shows the shape of a ring based on the shapes only we can call them by these different names so the different shapes of the magnets are bar magnet horseshoe magnet disc magnet and ring magnet now let us take one bar magnet and uh, we are going to see whether these different materials are going to be attracted by this bar magnet or not when we take iron nail towards the bar magnet it definitely going to attract this iron nail so nail is made up of iron so every time iron uh, the materials which are made up of iron or steel they are getting attracted by the magnets so here the column is given 
is it attracted by magnet or not so yes it is going to be attracted by magnet the next one is plastic scale we know that plastic scale is made up of a material called plastic and plastic is a material that cannot be attracted by the magnet so here we will write no it is not attracted by the magnet the next material which we are going to take is a piece of glass and glass is made up of a material called glass only and here glass is also a material that cannot be attracted by a magnet so in this case also it is not going to be attracted by the magnet and the last one is wooden piece wooden piece is made up of wood so in this case also the wood is not attracted by this bar magnet so whatever the materials which are made up of iron steel or copper cobalt all these materials can get attracted by the magnet and the other materials like plastic scale a piece of glass wooden piece all these are the materials that are made up of other uh, substances like plastic glass and wood so these are not attracted by the magnet so in this way certain objects are present that can be attracted by the magnet which are called as magnetic substances and certain materials are present that cannot be attracted by the magnets and these substances or these materials are called as non magnetic substances or non magnetic material now let us discuss about the topic poles of the magnet to know what are the different poles of the magnet we are going to do one activity again and in this activity we will take a piece of a magnet and this piece of a bar magnet should roll on to the soil particles and after some time take that bar magnet out of the soil pull it out you can see some of the dark colored particles will stick to the magnets and the particles from the soil that are stuck on to the magnet they are nothing but iron fillings after the iron fillings are stuck on to the magnet now take out that magnet out of the soil then take out that iron fillings remove the iron fillings from that magnet and place these iron fillings on a piece of paper now when you place these iron fillings on a piece of paper after this put the bar magnet below the paper and gently move that magnet this is a bar magnet and here uh, the two poles are present of this bar magnet when you place this bar magnet below the paper and when you move the bar magnet gently at that time what happens the iron fillings that are present they start to move at the ends so they'll move towards the two ends of this magnet and the iron fillings are more at the ends of the magnet wherever the ends of the magnets are moving there the iron fillings are moving in this way the iron fillings are more at the ends when compared to the middle portion so by this we can understand that the two poles or the two ends of the magnet have more magnetic capacity when compared to the middle portion so magnetic property means attraction so attraction force or the magnetic property of the ends of a magnet is more than the middle portion and these ends are called as poles one end is a north pole that shows the direction towards north side and the other end which shows its direction towards the south side that is called as south pole so every bar magnet will possess two poles which are very important and which have more magnetic force and that are north pole and south pole so let us see one activity to know uh, how the different poles are present or when do the magnet comes at rest so here in this activity we are going to take one magnet and now suspend this bar magnet with a thread tied around its center now place this bar magnet freely when it comes to rest that direction can be called as north south direction we need to remember one point here that the magnet always comes at rest in the north south direction after it comes at rest now mark one side with a color or color the one side and let us take it as north pole now again disturb this bar magnet again when it comes at rest 
it is going to show north south direction that means the colored mark of the north pole will come to its position only in this way we can understand that magnet always comes at rest in the north direction pole of the magnet that moves towards the north direction that pole is called as north pole and the other end of the magnet that moves towards the south direction that pole is called as south pole in this way there are two poles present in a bar magnet and that are north pole and south pole and this property of the magnet is called as directional property the next one is magnetic compass it is an instrument it is a small box in which we can see the markings of the different directions like north south east and west all these markings are written inside the small box that is inside the compass and here we can also find a needle so needle is attached in the center and this is an instrument helps us to find the different directions especially the north the south the direction it is usually used to show the north south directions so whenever we want to see the direction of any place place the compass at that place so that the needle it moves round and round then finally it comes to rest at a particular time and when it comes to rest that direction can be called as north south direction by which we can clearly estimate where we need to move this is an instrument that helps us to know the different directions and this magnetic compass is also taken by uh, the different people like whoever is uh, traveling in an airplane or in a ships they are going to take this compass with them so that they do not lose their way when they go to the unknown places so magnetic compass is nothing but it's a small instrument in which a needle is fixed and movement of the needle show us the direction by which we can understand where we have to move in this way magnetic compass is an instrument which helps us to know about the different directions and it always comes to rest in the north south direction let us discuss about the other topic that is attraction and repulsion take two different magnets and place them in this direction in the first case we will place north pole of first magnet towards the south pole of other magnet so here the north pole of one magnet is facing towards the south pole of other magnet in such case there is attraction between them we can find the attraction between these two poles in the next case in the second case when we place south pole of first magnet towards the north pole of second magnet in this case also we will be observing the attraction between these two poles these two poles of the two magnets are going to attract with each other and they will show the magnetic attraction but in the third case when we place north pole of one magnet facing towards the north pole of other magnet that means when the same poles of both the magnets are facing towards each other then there is no attraction between these two poles in the similar way in the case 4 also when we place the two same poles of both these magnets that means when we place south pole towards the south pole of other magnet then also we cannot find any attraction between these two poles of these magnet so here we can understand whenever the different poles are present they will show the attraction and we can call this attraction as magnetic attraction so here we can conclude that unlike poles when the poles are not similar then they will show the magnetic attraction unlike poles will always shows magnetic attraction whereas like poles like poles means when the poles are same when the poles of both the magnets are same then they do not show any attraction they repel each other 
and this is called as magnetic repulsion. In these cases, we can conclude that like poles will always repel. Like poles will show magnetic repulsion. They do not attract with each other. In this way, the attraction and the repulsion of the magnet depends upon the poles. When the different poles are placed or faces towards each other, then they will show the attraction and the, they will attract with each other. But when the same poles of both the magnets are placed together, then they do not attract, they repel each other and they show magnetic repulsion. So, unlike poles always attract with each other and like poles always repel with each other. So, here earth acts as a magnet. How the earth can act as a magnet? Let us see. So, to understand this statement, we need to do one activity. In this activity, we are going to take two bar magnets and we know that each bar magnet possesses two poles that are north pole and south pole. So, these two bar magnets has been taken and one of the bar magnet is placed on a table. We will suspend other bar magnet over this one. It is also having two poles that is north pole and south pole. The magnet which is placed on the table let it represent it as A magnet and which we are going to suspend it over this A magnet is B1. Okay. So, here A magnet uh, shows the two poles. North pole of A magnet points towards the south pole of B magnet and south pole of A magnet faces towards north pole of B magnet. Now, when you change the direction of A magnet, automatically the B magnet will also show some changes in the direction because we have suspended this B magnet over the A magnet. Now, when you change the direction of A magnet, ultimately the direction of B will also get changes. But Every time you can see that the magnet comes at rest in the north-south direction. Magnet B is a suspended magnet. So, the suspended magnet will always comes at rest in the north-south direction. In the beginning, I told you that the magnets always comes at rest in the north-south direction. So, how it happens? It is happening due to the magnetic field of the earth. Earth will possess this magnetic field and due to this magnetic field only, the magnets will come at rest in the north-south direction. So, here the magnet A is nothing but Earth and magnet B are all magnetic substances that are present in our surroundings. So, in such a way, the Earth is acting like a magnet A which is placed on the table and the magnetic substances that are present in our surrounding, they will always come at rest in the north-south direction because of the magnetic field of the earth. In such a way, the earth also acts as a magnet that helps the magnets to come at rest in the north-south direction. Meet you next class. Goodbye.